Lord Sarfraz. My Lords, it is a privilege to follow such experienced and distinguished noble Lords, and I would like to declare an interest in agricultural technology as set out in the register. My Lords, the monsoons will be starting shortly in South Asia. And traditionally, the arrival of the monsoons begins with a festival to celebrate nature and express gratitude for all that the planet gives us. But things are different now. As the climate changes, so has the mood in the subcontinent. The rains that give sustenance have now sadly become floods that take lives. So as we think about our carbon budget today, we are reminded of those living with the real effects of climate change around the world. Our carbon budget is part of an international balance sheet. For us to achieve net zero, carbon offsets must work too. Despite a false start a decade ago, this time around, the voluntary carbon market can be a real success. For this to happen, we need to make some improvements, and very quickly. Currently, the entire system of carbon offsets is extremely complex and needs specialist advisors and consultants to navigate it. This desperately needs to be simplified, standardized, and made accessible so that income from carbon offsets can directly benefit those changing their practices, particularly those using nature-based solutions and particularly those in low-income countries. This has to be done without compromising the quality of credits and the task force on scaling voluntary carbon markets has proposed a very good set of core carbon principles, which are a useful framework to verify credits. Verification and validation of carbon savings also need to be digitized so they can be rolled out at scale. We must also recognize that the voluntary market is voluntary and the institutional investors who are driving it must be supported. My Lords, we must fully support the voluntary carbon market, and I'd like to ask my noble friend, the Minister, if he agrees that we have a duty to make sure this market works for everyone. Thank you.